The current design process in the machinery and machine tool industry is fragmented with loose connections and no common language between the mechanical, electrical and automation design disciplines. Difficulties in simulating machines to evaluate design concepts and finding problems early in the process. In this session, we will look at what is broadly referred to as machine simulation, in other words, analyzing the behavior of a working machine in virtual mode. This type of machine simulation is especially suitable for design engineers, technologists and automation technicians and does not require any highly specialized competencies, helping them to deliver machines faster, more cost-effectively, with fewer risks. Quindi diremo che la prima caratteristica evidente che vi salta all'occhio è che questa tecnologia di simulazione di macchina è particolarmente adatta per progettisti, technology e tecnici dell'automazione per cui non occorre ricorrere a competenze specialistiche di media. The development methods that aid conceptualization of a system in the initial phases of the design process are essential to reduce the time to market and to ensure that the completed system meets the customer's expectations. In this demonstration, we will skip the stages of managing requirements and conceptual design and jump right into the 3D assembly of the machine as our starting point. We will have a closer look at two scenarios. One, the scenario based on mechatronics concepts and virtual commissioning. Two, the scenario based on validation of the CAM machining that the machine will execute. The first step towards the mechatronic study or virtual commissioning of the machine is adding actuators, the logic and the movement sequences. The best option is to start in an early stage based on some fundamental primitives of the 3D model of the machine. These can be sufficient to check possible collisions and demonstrate the functional principles. This approach is estimated to reduce the risk of committing design errors by 40%. This is achieved by developing a conceptual model that is useful even in the pre-sales and customer bid phase of the machine. It provides precise specifications and a demonstration in real time before anything is actually built. In other words, what is simulated in advance is that which will be built later. Once the logic sequence has been validated, we can go on to complete the 3D model of the machine or assembly. This environment is not a CAM environment, so there is no calculation of the toolpath, but only the axis movements of the machine and its 3D representation. These machine axis movements can be transformed into a rough program for a PLC, which saves much repetition and successive approximation to arrive at a good approximation of the machine automation. We thus go from a virtual environment to a real environment. We also have a Cinemeric numerical control connected to the NX system via Profinet. From the Cinemeric operator panel, we control the virtual machine built into the NX MCD environment, going from the physical environment to the virtual environment. The interaction between the MCD and Cinemeric is realized with a software application called Simit, which also emulates the specific aspects of the various drives, like motor acceleration ramps. It is estimated that simulating the behavior of the real machine, including the PLC and CNC, actuators and sensors can reduce the time that would be spent on commissioning and start up on the shop floor by up to 80%. This approach enables the mechanical, electrical and automation design engineers to collaborate better and work in parallel effectively sharing the functional structure across ECAD, MCAD and automation. The system can work in two different modes, like a real machine. In fact, 
If we operate from the control panel of the Cinemeric and move from auto mode to jog mode, the NC takes control of the movements. In this way, we can move the virtual machine represented in NX, for example, by selecting a machine axis with the manual commands plus and minus. Bidirectionality of the system is a very important aspect. The approximation made initially in the simulator is now adjusted and corrected manually with manual correction of the PLC program until perfect calibration of the system is achieved. When a machine has to be commissioned that is similar to one just processed, even more reliable automation data can be taken as a basis, permitting even faster approval of the automation designs. Let's have a look at the second scenario based on validation of the CAM machining operation with metal cutting in an NX CAM environment. The point of departure is again the same 3D model of the machine in which this time the parameters for real machining are entered allowing the validation of the toolpath by verifying minimum safety distances looking at possible collisions. In a single environment, it is possible to test the paths generated by the CAM without having to export the machine to other software, making any modifications extremely fast. The first step towards simulating the machine with machining is creation of the CAM toolpath on the 3D model of the component chosen for machining. In this environment, all machining parameters like dimensions and shape of the tool, cutting speed, cutting depth are entered. Machining operations are managed in relation to the 3D geometry of the machine tool itself, including its kinematics and the software characteristics of the controller. We will now add the functional kinematics and further integrate the functional logic of the numerical control, VNCK. The result is a comprehensive simulation environment of the machine tool integrated in NXCAM that enables a substantial reduction in the machine downtimes required for the first piece inspection, ensuring a fast return on investment. In addition to simulating the tool paths, we can also integrate subroutines and machine cycles considering the 3D model of the workpiece, the overall dimensions of the clamping devices and the tools. This enables highly accurate estimation of the cycle times. Simulating the tool changing times, the speed and acceleration of the axes, even with interpolation, helps operators to better predict and optimize the machine behavior during machining. The final result is a part that has been machined and tested first virtually in a simulation environment that precisely represents what will happen in reality on the machine tool. These same machining operations are then performed physically in a completely integrated CAD-CAM-CNC machine tool environment.